Hey guys, I am super, super excited about today's call, not just because this is such an incredible topic, but our speaker today is my aunt, so I love that. Um, she is who I want to be when I grow up, but we're going to go over thermography today, all the things about thermography. So um, her name is Carol, I'm call you Aunt Carol, but Carol, if you would like to just kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and what thermography is, and we'll start there. Perfect. Thanks, Brandy. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Most people don't know about thermography. They've never even heard about thermography. So I'm excited to shout it from the rooftops. Uh, my name is Carol Laney. I've been in business since 1988. So yeah, I'm old. Um, I love what I do. Absolutely love it. Um, I have so much positive energy in my office on a daily basis. And thermography is the key to prevention. So thermography detects heat patterns in the body. It's been available since the 1980s. FDA approved it in the 80s. And actually, um, it's used, it was used to find the Boston bomber. So they tied that heli they tied it to a helicopter, that camera, and they detected his heat when he was hiding in that boat underneath the canvas. It's incredible. And I have the same camera. So I have this really intense medical camera that detects heat and it is amazing. So I just wanna shout it from the rooftop and let people know, get a thermogram. It really tells you a lot about your body. And then once we start to see heat patterns, we start to play health detective. You know, what, what issues are you having? Um, let's use you for an example. When you came in for your thermogram, we start to look for heat patterns to see what's happening in your body, right? Yep. And then we determine what can we do once we find these heat patterns? Are these patterns uh, in the gut? Are they associated with any dental issues? Um, what's happening in the breast? So it's not just for breast. So we look to see, I encourage people do the health study. Let's look at your gut. Where do, where do most diseases in the body come from? Your gut. Yeah. Yeah, oral health and your gut. So why would we just look at the breast, right? We want to look from head to toe. You know, I tell people, they, they say, I want to do a full body. Do you really, do you really need to do that? Why spend that extra money? Let's do a health study. Full body, yeah, if you're having diabetes issues, um, uh, uh, hands, feet, legs, if you're having issues like that, yeah, let's do a full body. Um, you've been in a car accident, maybe your attorney's using that information to find out you know, what's happened to you, um, then we do a full body. But health study, let's do a health study on everybody and let's find why. Why are you not sleeping well? Why are you constipated? Um, why are you having thyroid issues? Um, what's going on with oral health? Do you have root canals? If you do, is that um, inflammation traveling down through the carotid arteries and going into the breast? Wow, if that's, if that's what's happening, let's fix the oral health issues. It's really that simple. I mean, that's amazing. And I like something that you said about finding the cause of your symptoms. And most, <clears throat> sorry, most doctors that you go to in the, you know, the Western medicine, your typical MD, you go there for a symptom, whether it's um, like thyroid or cholesterol or something going on. And they're typically, not all, but they're typically going to treat your symptoms and they're not looking at why is this happening? So that's where you come in. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of people say to me, can I take this to my doctor? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> right. You're going to come back to me anyway, because they're going to go, what do I do with this? I don't. Right. And, and I try and educate the MDs. So all of you MDs that are out there, please call the office. I would love to share this information with you and work side by side with you in helping these people. But yeah, they, most doctors, they want to, you know, get their prescription pad out and right. ask it. Nah, that's, that's not finding the root cause. You know, I, I just posted something this morning about people that have cancer. You know, they, they get cancer, they have cancer, they get the diagnosis, um, they get chemo, chemotherapy, they get radiation, but they never found the root cause of the cancer. Mm. Oh, yay, I'm five years cancer-free. Seven years later, what happens? It's Back. metastasized. Why did it metastasize? Because you didn't get to the root cause. Yes. You know, Oh, I could beat my, beat my head against the wall with, with people like I'm going for chemotherapy today. Okay. 
you know, but did you look at your oral health issue? Do you have a root canal? Maybe that's part of, oh, that can't be the, yeah, I could. Yeah. Very well so, so it's very frustrating and I get really excited like when people finally get it. And it's like, yeah, let's start at the top and work our way down. Let's not run to the oncologist and say, yeah, shoot me up with all this poison and let's kill the cancer along with everything else in your body and your hair falls out and yada, yada. Um, let's look at the root cause first. Right. And then if we have to go chemotherapy or radiation, you know, I'll hold your hand through that and I'll help you to detox through that. And we'll monitor you with thermography to see what that's doing to your body, right? Most That's amazing. People, it really is amazing, but most people don't don't know. And I know you have. Um, I want you to pull up that cell phone usage picture. Yes. We all have a cell phone, right? What do you see? Yeah. What do you see everybody doing? Look, they hold it right here. Where's my cell phone? I want to hold it really far away. But what do they do? They hold it right here. Or right here. Oh yeah. Look at that picture. Pull that picture up with cell phone right. usage. We are to see so many brain tumors within the next three to five years guaranteed guaranteed mark my word so let's we can come back to that in three to five years okay we okay can talk about all so, that well no this is great why don't you tell us what we're looking at here so this was done by another thermographer through medhot thermography so she she did some studies on uh, cell phone usage. So she had this gentleman come in. Um, he was not permitted to use his cell phone for a couple hours prior to his appointment. And you can still see the heat patterns there, right? So you can see he probably suffers from headaches and some sinus issues. You can see down around, I bet any money he has metal amalgams or some type of oral health issues. Um, you can see- let me, let me ask you this real quick. The heat patterns you're talking about, that's the red parts? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And at, keep asking questions, Brandy, because there's a hundred other people out there that want to ask these questions and they're not able to. Absolutely. So, so he, then he was told to talk on his phone for 15 minutes and wow. hold, it up, hold it up against his 15 minutes. That's just 15 minutes. Look at the heat. If you do that on a daily basis consistently, look at the heat, the inflammation patterns. Look at where that white is. That's really, really hot, really, really hot. So yeah, look at, look at the whole, throughout the whole head. I mean, it's amazing what, what we can detect with thermography. And that's just from a 15 minute phone call. Think that's, about, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, that's crazy. I was gonna ask, um, I know you have a thought. Okay, so that's from him holding the phone up to his head. So obviously cell phones, our part devices, iPads, they're, we can't get away from those that, you know, it's, it's 2021. We cannot get away from that. So Darn what it. can we do to limit this kind of exposure, knowing that we have to use cell phones, knowing that so many of us use them to run our businesses and do all the things. Um, you, you keep it as far away from you as you can. And when you're not doing business, you put it in airplane mode or you turn it off. Wow. So and, you want to talk on speaker, keep your phone on speaker, not held up to your ear. Mm -hmm. And, and look, at, look at our children. I mean, look at your teenager. She likes to play on her phone, right? Yeah. Where is she holding her phone? All the time. Yeah. Think about that. All the time. Hours and hours. We will start seeing breast cancers in younger girls because of that. Where mm -hmm. do they, it kills me when I'm in the store and I'm following these teenagers around and they have their phones right in their back pockets. Mm -hmm. I pull their phone out of their pocket and say, please don't, please don't. Um, we're going to see a lot of bone cancers. Ugh. Just think about all the towers that went up during COVID, all the 5G towers. Have you noticed? Yeah. I am out every new tower. I say, do you see that new tower over there? Do you see that new tower? Do you see how the towers are just full of all that 5G? It's crazy. It's yeah, it's scary. What's happening? So your phone is constantly pulling. This computer is constantly pulling. Think about all those people that wear those uh, wireless AirPods. Oh my goodness! I won't do it. I won't. I'm, I will not do it. Can we say brain cancers? Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's it's really crazy. So oh. until people start to see thermography and heat and inflammation, they really don't get it until the picture is up is right up there. Um, pull that, pull that, um, the, did I send you the dental one? 
Um, let's look. You sent me. No, you sent me a front chest, a back, and then a gut one. Oh, let's talk about the C. What's happening in, in the C world? What, what in we get? The, the breast one? No, in the, in the lungs. Are we allowed to say that word or are they going to boot us off the internet? Um, let's just talk about that thing that's currently happening in the world. <laughs> the thing that's currently happening in the world. So though, that's, those are the lungs. Did you know that when people get COVID, they like to flip you over uh, face down so that the lungs Running. stand, right? Okay. Yep. So, so this is a picture of COVID lungs. Okay. This gentleman has COVID and okay. his, his lungs are inflamed, right? So um, our goal is to monitor his lungs and to work on different things to get inflammation down. So how do you get inflammation down in the world of C right now? In the world of what's happening? How do you reduce inflammation in the body? There's a lot of things, and I know. I mean, there's a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So name up diet, diet, supplements like turmeric. Mm -hmm. um, cutting. I mean, diet. I think is the biggest one that I can think of. Cutting out inflammatory foods. I'm currently on an AIP diet, so I can't eat any inflammatory. Explain what that is, because some people might not know what oh, that is. So I'm on an autoimmune protocol diet. So it's literally any food that's considered inflammatory, I cannot eat right now. Be interesting to uh, do your thermogram and see where you were and where you are. Yeah. So next time you're in Ohio, we'll do that. Sounds good. COVID lungs. Um, we could also dry brush him a little bit. We could work on some thymus thumping. So it's really interesting to see when we do a chest thermogram, you'll see the thiamus may be a little bit cool and cool would be blue. Um, what, did, what, what did King Kong do back in the day? Beat his chest. <laughs> right, so I tell all my people, thump your thymus, right? Keep thumping mm. the thymus, it has everything to do with your immune system. So, you know, people who are in my office are taking notes left and right, they're just so excited to learn these basic things. They're right. so basic. So basic. I mean Dry brushing, what you're talking about, thumping your thymus, those are all things you can do at home very inexpensively. You taught me something else, which I think would be somewhat related to this about using a rebounder to help drain my lymphatic system. And I, I mean, I bought a rebounder on Amazon for under a hundred bucks and just jump on it for a few minutes each day. Best tool. It's the best tool ever. I love the rebounder. And I put a lot of my clients on the rebounder. Even if it's just 10 minutes, just get some bouncing. If you don't have a rebounder and you don't have $100 to spend, just simply do some jumping, some bouncing yourself. Dance, move, get everything flowing. You know, I, I explain the lymphatic system like this. So the garbage men didn't come to your house for two months. What happened? The garbage men, right? It all backed up, starts to stink. It's getting toxic in the house. Same thing in your body. If you don't mm. have lymphatic, bam, what happens? everything backs up, right? Wow. You get sick. So you got to constantly move the lymph constantly, whether it be through That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. And these, you guys, these are simple things you can do at home. Very inexpensive. You can get a dry brush for 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, mm -hmm. There's lots of videos, lots of YouTube videos on how to dry brush. It's very simple. Um, doesn't cost anything to beat your chest and, and your thymus, like she was talking about. Um, and like we said, a rebounder, or if your kids have a trampoline, does that give you the same? Someone asked me that recently. Can I just go jump on my kid's trampoline? Yes. Go out and jump, go out, laugh, go out and play, bounce, do that. You know, uh, vitamin D, get outside, get some yes. sun. I, I don't know what, it, what it's like in Florida right now, but it is beautiful and sunny here. And I'm going to go out and play outside for a little bit all by myself. I'm going to go ground and run around the lake and feed my fish and, you know, just get, get out there in nature. You know, there's an app out there. It's called D minder D as a dog. And then minder, like I'm going to remind you D minder. It's a free app. You go out there, you, you start that app and it tells you exactly how many I use you've absorbed. You put how much, you know, clothing you have on, you have wow. percent covered or you're 10%. Are you 100% naked? Um, you punch all that in, right? And you're absorbing all of that. And it tells you exactly how much you got. And if you're out there too long, it'll beep until you get inside. Oh, that's amazing. That was D minder. D minder. Yeah. It's a free app. It's awesome. Awesome. That's incredible. That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to have to download that. Um, okay. Do you want to pull up? Do you want me to pull up another one of the pictures? 
Yeah, that inflammatory breast cancer. That's, that's amazing. Okay, yeah. so, so um, we're going to talk about the M word now. Mammography. Okay. Mm. So that's, that's the question everyone asks me. Should I get a mammogram? That's not up to me to tell you to get a mammogram or not. I have two daughters. They will never get a mammogram. I will not permit that. They will never get it. They will get a spanking and they're 40 years old. <laughs> get a mammogram. What would I tell them to do, Brandy? You know exactly what I would tell them to do because I would tell you to do the same thing because you're like a daughter to me. What would I tell you to do? What two things are the most important to do? Oh man, you put me on the spot here. Um, yeah. One's a third. Well, thermogram. And then the only other one I could think would be dry brushing, but I don't know if that's the right answer. An ultrasound. Ultrasound. So I, I was looking for a screening. I, that's my fault. I should have given you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for ultrasound. So okay. I, I want to couple thermography with ultrasound. That really is ideal. And how are most breast cancers found? Fingertips. Breast self exams. You got it. You got it. And there are so many great videos out there. And if, if anybody needs any, any videos out there, um, at the end, we'll give some contact information. I'd be happy to share links. That are really great links, um, easy to follow. We don't have a lot of time in this life, right? Everybody's so yeah. busy. So you still got to take care of yourself. You know, be yes. selfish and take care of yourself. And no, those are good points. Yeah. Well, right? so okay, can you tell us exactly what we're looking at? Because you can see very clear difference from the. What, I'm looking at that backwards. The right breast and the left breast. Yeah. So you have inflammatory breast cancer right now um, showing in this image and mammogram will not pick that up. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. A mammography does not pick up inflammatory breast cancers. Mammography will find cysts and tumors and, but there's no way to tell if that's cancer. How do they tell if that's cancer? They have to do a biopsy. Yeah. No way to tell that that's cancer that on that thermography, they have to do a biopsy. The only way to tell if you have cancer is to do a biopsy. Regardless of what screenings you've done, you have to get the biopsy to tell you if that's cancer. But wow. a man will not pick up an inflammatory cancer like that. What's interesting to me with this is that you can see it into her armpit and that's why it's so important to, this is another talk we're gonna have, but for women to use natural deodorants, deodorants without aluminum, um, you know, there's been this is a whole other topic, but there's been, as you mentioned, root canals, you know, we, um, we had a, a dental emergency for me a couple years ago where I broke a tooth. They wanted to do a root canal. My dentist thought I was crazy when I said, please pull my tooth. I don't want a root canal. But what I had learned in my research, because I research everything, we are the only advocates for our health. We have to research everything and not just go to the doctor or the dentist. We have to be educated ourselves. What I learned was there was a like over a 90% correlation between root canals and breast cancer patients. And so, as you said, oral health is so important, but then as you can see it in the armpit, you know, the products you're using on your body are so important too. 93% of breast cancers, they have root canals. Forty-five percent of breast cancers are on the outer uh, portion of the breast, near the arm. Which 45%. would make you think it was related to something like a deodorant, possibly, or trails down from the mouth down mm. the lymph. Wow, things that make you go hmm. Yeah. So, okay. using the example you gave earlier. You get breast cancer, you treat the breast cancer, whether it's chemo, radiation, or natural, whatever path you choose, you treat the breast cancer, you're in remission, but let's say it's stemming from a cause orally and you don't address that concern, then that's when you're seeing things come back because you have not changed anything in your lifestyle. You've not changed the root cause of it. Possibly. Same thing. Wow. Wonder, right? Right. Yeah. Could be numerous things, right? Could be environmental toxins as well. Stress. Look right. At what's happening in the world right now. Look at how stressed out people are. You know, I, I, I like it's stress-free 
people walk into my office. I'm like, this is a stress-free environment here. Or they walk in late and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, that's okay. I penciled in extra time mm-hmm. because I don't want you coming into my office all stressed out. That's not, that's not how I roll and I don't need your negative energy. So I need positive. Everything's positive in my world. So yeah, stress, stress will, stress will kill you. It will kill you. For sure. Well, we let's have- go, let's go over real quick. The last image, I think it was of, um, I think this was gut. Oh yeah. And just tell us what we're looking at. Look at that. Um, so right there that there's de- some definite gut dysfunction there. Um, You can see that the blue, um, there is a cooler, and you can see the red, you can see the uh, right side where the liver is, and then you can see uh, on the other side, you've got spleen. Look at all that dysfunction that's going on there. Look at all that inflammation. Look at the lymph that goes all the way, well, if we had a full body here, you could see that would trail all the way down underneath the armpit, down the sides of the body into the groin. Do you think that Mm -hmm. girl right there needs to do some dry brushing? For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and really look at uh, maybe some food sensitivities. Um, maybe I would probably guess that she's a little constipated too. Um, yeah, she really needs to do um, some testing for her gut. That's, wow. easily fixed. that's That really is easily fixed, but that's a lot of work. Um, but it can't. I'm going through that right now. I, my gut is a mess. And it is, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of commitment, but it's so worth it. It is. And everybody, it, you know, she could be, she could drink a lot of alcohol too. She's got some motling in there. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are drinking right now, like having two, three, four glasses of wine a night because they're so stressed out or they've been home working from home. Eh, it's four o'clock. Let's have a glass of wine. Right. Uh, other six o'clock another then they're up till 10 o'clock at night and then they can't sleep because of the alcohol so now we're not resting and repairing and you know now we're up and tossing and turning and peeing in the middle of the night now our cortisol levels are all messed up and now we're in dysfunction and wow it's just a hot mess (laughs) it really is wow and everything's related literally everything you're saying is related to something else going on in your body sure is Yeah. Isn't it so fun though, to look at all this and like, they can learn so much about their body from a thermogram. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love it. Well, so this was, we'll wrap this up to keep it in the, like the 30 minute mark. This was super educational. I do want to put the disclaimer out there that anytime we do these talks, these are for educational purposes only. This is not meant to treat, diagnose, take place of your doctor anything like that, whatever you see here is to make you think and research things on your own. However, if someone is looking to connect to you or find a doctor in their area, how would they get in touch with you? I'm at functionalwellnessandimaging.com. I'm in Medina, Ohio. So you can just Google me. I'll come up. You can look at IAMT. Um, That would tell you if there's thermographers that are local to you, be sure to ask them what type of camera they have, how long they've been doing this, and will they hold your hand through this process? It's important. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for being here today. That was amazing. Thanks for having me.